gonna pick up Call too many times Text back saying sorry I'm drunk Why do I even try Arguing in circles for hours Cause what else can we do Okay, so the time is 9.37 right now and I couldn't film this part yet because people were using like, what do they call it, like wind blowers or something in their backyard. So basically what I have been doing so far for the past 37 minutes or so is going through Slack. I guess I should explain what I'm trying to do. So I have a few different tasks, I suppose. So there's this PR, like this pull request that I've been working on for literally so long because I had like, okay, Maybe, maybe it's best if I explain like what happened after my first week. My first task was to actually like improve that code lab and make it better for other people. So I did that. After that, my mentor started giving me smaller tasks within this one repository that we own, which is basically like a way for us to ingest data into Apache Druid. It turned out to be harder than it seemed because it's like a much bigger thing. Thing We have a command line interface where it's like, oh, we write a few words. And like in our terminal, we're like, oh, we want to create a new ingestion configuration file so we can tell Apache Druid what data we want to ingest. So basically my task was to automate this configuration file because a lot of time you just like, you just type in, oh yeah, I want to do this. I want to name it this. And then after that, it will create like a, a template for you. And then you have to fill in everything yourself. So it's kind of annoying if you have a lot of dimensions and like fields that you need to fill out and it's a lot of manual work to do this. So my mentor was like, oh, you should try to automate this. And like Python is good for automating. So this was fun. I was learning a lot of Python. And then we had a problem with getting the data because the thing was, we're, we're like, okay, where do you want the, in the command line interface, we asked the person, do you want to get the data from this place? So basically you have to make a request to this interface and then you have to have authorization because only Shopify employees can have access to this thing. So that's why everything like detoured because I had to make that package and like learn all about that kind of stuff. And that package is very funny because my mentor said I could name it anything I wanted. Like two weeks ago, I got to present that. This is my first time demoing in data engineering at all. And it was very interesting because the like director, like the VP of data engineering and data science at Shopify decided that that day she was going to join our meeting call. And that was interesting. And she said that I did an awesome job and that was really nice. I'm also working on open source stuff for Apache Druid because my mentor assigned me um, an issue that he found in Apache Druid. And this is only like my second time working on an open source project. And it's very interesting, it's new, and it's in Java. And like I've never worked in the real world in Java, so this is pretty crazy. First I have to fix this PR. Okay, update, it is 11.54 and I am closer to getting the second test to work. I feel like I'm super close, I'm just missing something really small, but we'll see when I pair with my mentor and he'll probably be like, oh, we just do this thing, like dot this, and then you'll get the thing. And I'm like, well, yeah, I, I don't know enough about testing in Python to know these kinds of things. Okay, so back from lunch, I wanted to explain first while I'm getting ready to pair with my mentor from 1.30 to 2.30 p.m. I wanted to explain what the second task I've been working on is. And basically, let me read what Apache Druid is because I can't explain it properly as well as the readme can. So Druid is a high performance real-time analytics database. Druid's main value add is to reduce time to insight and action. Druid is designed for workflows where fast queries and ingest really matter. Consider Druid as an open source alternative to data warehouses for a variety of use cases. So basically the issue that my mentor found on the Druid code base that he assigned for me to fix was actually like, if you do a query, so if you're asking a question to the data, data that you have and you're asking, oh, is the value of this column, is it null? Then it should actually say like, if the, if the value is null, 
then it should say true, but for some reason it's saying null, which doesn't make sense. Trying to figure out like where in this humongous open source project that this problem lies was, well, it is kind of hard. I haven't figured it out, but like I've like, been doing investigating. So like I was given some tips by some of my teammates. So first is that when you start with an open source project is that you don't have to understand everything. Like it's huge. Like you don't need to understand how every single piece of it works. And then the second tip was that you go to the test files first. So specifically only like a test file. For mine, I'm looking for a function called is null. And then I'm searching for that in only the test files. And then I'm going through all those test files and seeing which tests are actually important and where did those link out. And then I'm running in debug mode so you can actually see like, okay, you can step into the code. So it's like this test calls this function and then that function calls this thing and then that thing. So it's actually really interesting. You can step through the code and understand it. So I can show you that, which is actually really cool about this task that I can show you this code because it's open source. Finally worked, oh my goodness. I just kept trying to run this test because it's a creates a virtual column and I wanted to test out stuff and then it wasn't working for the longest time because of this stupid target directory, oh my goodness. I just have to delete it. I'm happy, I can finally test this out. Oh, and in like 10 minutes, I have this thing where I have to agree to this girl that's interviewing for the uh, dev degree for like first year. And it's gonna be really nice in like 10 minutes of trying to like calm down their nerves. I've never actually done it before. Like even though I've been in dev degree for a few years, I haven't ever been a greeter. I don't know why, but yeah, it's gonna be fun. Can't wait to meet these students. They're such keeners. Oh my God, they're all like adding me on LinkedIn or Instagram and it's so funny. But yeah, it's, I, I hope they have a good experience interviewing. Okay, so you can find Apache Druid on github.com. So there's so much fluff on my computer. So it's a very big project. How many commits? Over 9,000, <laughs> over 10,000. And yeah, many branches. Uh, so basically, yeah, Apache Druid, I explained what it is. This is how it would look like, like when you're loading in data, you type in what kind of data you want, where you want to get it. I can actually show you that. Uh, Here's Druid, here's like the main, here's Druid. I'm running on localhost, this is locally. Uh, so what you can do first is loading in data. Oh, fail to get, oh yeah, overlord. Okay, okay, because I'm not running this thing. <laughs> so that's why locally it's not working. Okay, I have Apache Druid open over here in IntelliJ, but if you just focus on my terminal right now, so I am currently inside of Apache Druid and then it has all of these things inside of it. And there's a quick start, so I can go through that, or like you can go to the configuration, and actually see like all the overlord and all this random, like all the different components of Druid. Okay, I lied. You have to CD a lot into it, but okay. Uh, if you go into the quick micro quick start, which is the thing that I'm gonna run through, there's basically different sizes, like small, extra large, whatever size you need, like how much stuff you're going to be loading or like ingesting into Druid. So micro quick start, just like not a lot of data. And you can see all the different things in Druid. So there's a broker, coordinator, overlord, historical, middle manager, and router. So those are like the different components that are in it. Also Druid has docs that you can read for this if you want to do it on your own. I doubt you will need it unless you work at a company with big data, but if you're curious, these exist. Okay, I ran, I went back to Druid, like the main directory, and then I did bin, like dot slash bin, start micro quick start. Now it's running all this stuff. Now we can go to our local, start a new spec. Can load it from a bunch of different places. Paste data, and then we click connect data, and then you can paste your data in here, blah, blah, blah. And then you just go through a bunch of things. Like you can, I'm not gonna show you, but basically you can like transform it, filter it, configure schemas, partitioning. So based off of time, like, how, like days, seconds, months, everything. You can edit your spec that you create. Basically the main issue, like I was explaining earlier, is that in SQL is null, returns null, when the value of the column is null, when it actually should return like true. So basically it's returning, like when you do this SQL query, select duration and duration is null, as duration is null from like this just duration, which is just like the name of the data. And yeah, this will be an example of what a Druid ingest configuration file looks like. So it tells you all the information, the tuning configuration, data schema. So then it tells you which dimensions you want to look at. This configuration file is what I was trying to automate in the PR that I was working on today, like trying to finish. But like this would have like way more information. And then basically we're looking at where 
is null being used in this case. So there's also this file called null handling test that might be useful to look at. So basically I'm just doing experimentation right now. It's hard because I don't know any of this code. It's a humongous code base, like it's huge. There's so many things. And then we found this other thing because basically we are setting a virtual column. I know maybe I'm not making a lot of sense, but we are basically saying like uh, in Druid, I was using this, where is it? The virtual column, this thing, virtual column. And I was saying that's an expression where we're running this thing called is null on the duration. So, so that was like the name of the column. It was called duration, like over here, duration. And then we're saying, is this, is the field null? Like are all these entries null? And then it should be saying true over here, but it's not, or it's supposed to say one as true, but it's not. So basically that's why we were like, oh, maybe you, there's a, a file corresponding to virtual columns. And then we found it. Okay, time for my weekly meeting with my friend from Dev Degree, and also I have a Dev Degree Sidekicks meeting with this boy after that, and I'm really excited for that because we do those weekly to meet new people in Dev Degree or like say hi to people we already know, so those are fun. Mm -hmm.